Welcome back to a Skewed Reviews, and today I'm going to be doing a review for a film that's currently in theaters. So my review is for the film Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. So in the film Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, we catch back up with Lydia, who now has her own daughter named Astrid. We also find out that Beetlejuice is back to just being himself in the netherworld. Now unfortunately for the Dietz family, Charles Dietz has now passed away. Well, he was eaten by a shark, so a little more severe than just passing on. But this draws all of the family members back to the old house. And because life can't just be normal for this family, things start to go topsy-turvy, and which of course this means that they reach out to Beetlejuice to come back into their lives. So that's about all I'm really going to say about the plot, as I don't want to ruin anything, and also because there's quite a few storylines going on, so it would probably take a bit for me to go over everything. So first I'm going to start with what I liked about the movie. I did like that it felt like a Beetlejuice movie. I like that it definitely felt like a Tim Burton film. And I enjoyed that most of all the actors did come back for this film. I did feel like they explained it well enough away as to why the Maitlands weren't around. And they needed to come up with a good reason why the actor, Jeffrey Jones, who played Charles, couldn't actually be in the movie due to all the horrible stuff he was involved with. I also especially loved that they had Danny Elfman back to do the composing, which once again was just fantastic. Now as for what I didn't like about the movie, and I'm going to try to keep this as spoiler free as possible. First things first, there are a lot of characters, new and old in this movie, and unfortunately every single one of them was given a full story that apparently needed to be played out throughout the entire movie. One of my other issues is I felt that some of the characters got too much screen time or weren't even needed for the story. One of those characters, unfortunately, and I know some people are going to disagree, is Dolores. I personally don't think you need her to make everything happen in the film. There are ways that you could have done the story without her even appearing. Secondly, I know that they wanted to include Charles even though they wanted to keep Jeffrey Jones out of it. but. I do feel like Charles also got a bit too much screen time. One other scene that really just kind of dragged on for me is the musical moment near the end of the film. Now there were some great other music moments in the entire story that were fun to watch, but this one, just like the song that they chose, went on way too long in my opinion. And finally, and this is without ruining anything, I didn't like the ending. I felt like they just didn't know what to do with the end and they were just kind of like, well, let's just do this. So, uh, I don't know, I had some issues. I really did like it as a Beetlejuice film. It was fun to watch. But for me, I think I'm gonna give this one a three out of five. Now, being the fact that I absolutely love the first film, I definitely think everyone should judge this for themselves and voice your own opinion. Please, if you've already seen it or if you're about to go see it, let me know in the comments what you thought about this movie.